Hi, I'm Oracleist, and I have anger issues. <laughs> Welcome to Untitled Boxing Game, where you can punch people and forget your life's problems. It's like therapy, but with extra bruises and fewer deep conversations. When you spawn in, you're given basic style by default. Loser! You're a loser! Are you feeling sorry for yourself? Well, you should- uh, Which is only good if you're finding a make-a-wish kid, honestly. If you want my genuine opinion, you should go for uh, a counter style, like heads low or a counter. And please don't go for a hog or a turtle. They're absolutely the worst styles in the game. What did you say? Absolutely the worst styles in the game. <laughs> And well, if you're still disappointed with, with what you have, you can, you know, invest in the gambling system and satisfy your love for disappointment. Nice. Honestly, the beginner grind is kind of fun. You're gonna face some people that honestly lack a few chromosomes, but that's part of the game. For some of you, your early matches are gonna feel like shit because you can get beaten a few times. But honestly, that's how you learn. If you want, you can start by finding opponents as clueless as you so you can lose brain cells together. But that's if you're not able to master four fucking mechanics, you dumb shit. That's right, the controls are as simple as a fucking microwave. You got M1 to jab, M2 to heavy hit, spacebar to dash or dodge, Q to use your ultimate, and R to use an extra ability if you got lucky enough. You can really just be an absolute menace or a hit and run artist. It really depends on your style. Just don't be an absolute cunt and run away for three rounds straight. Why are you running? Why are you running? Cause who would do that, am I right? You would do that, you bitch. Now how can you become an absolute god like me, you may ask? It's pretty simple, honestly. You just gotta master the perfect dodge, and you'll pretty much feel like the Roblox version of Muhammad Ali. When someone hits you, whether it's with an M1 or an M2, you're gonna see an outline, and you wanna dash at the perfect time, and once you do, you go into fucking Dio mode, and you can get some free damage in. I recommend just throwing an M2, and if you have your ultimate, fucking throw that shit in. What's the next best thing? Counters. And it's also my favorite thing, because it's the best way to piss people off and make them rage quit. Now what you want to do is punch at the right time. Like you want to you predict when your opponent's going to punch so you can counter. That's what a counter is. Oh my god! Wow! Your goal at the end of the day is to get three knockdowns before your opponent does. And honestly you just have to abuse the hell out of the two mechanics I just explained until you get an ult or until your opponent realizes they're too bad to fight you so they just ult at four. Let's say you have no life at all, and you've finally reached 50 knockouts. Congrats, you've unlocked Ranked. <laughs> yeah, boy. The most despicable game mode in this game. Ranked is a place where the air reeks of sweat and desperation. Your first five matches are you trying to get your elo. You're trying to prove yourself, so make sure to not screw that up. Because if you do screw that up, you're going to be stuck down there, and it's going to be hard to climb up. So remember your strategy. Dodge, eat a pussy, and run away until your opponent cries or you're hailed as the champion. Once you're bored enough of slapping people up in ranked and tormenting yourself, you can go down the chiller route. Trading. You've played a bunch. You've collected some cash. What better way to spend it than to gamble it all away? It's really the best way to see your effort all go to waste as quick as possible. And honestly, if you don't have any of those special gloves with the fucking unicorn effects on them, don't even bother trying to trade. Nobody wants your shit. I don't want it. Even the Hitman player doesn't want it. Honestly, the only things that people will trade for are spins, style slots, and well gloves with cool synergy effects that will boost people's egos. Let's say you've explored everything I just mentioned. What do you do next? Go outside, do something else, and then come back to the game. After all, you've already become the cyber bully you've always wanted to be. You finally regained your self-esteem, gotten your free therapy session, and conquered LEGO boxing. Make sure to slave your life away beating up noobs and, well, help the cycle continue.